All parties in the matter of Norin versus Argulez. Step forward. Jacqueline Norin is suing her former tenant, Mark Argulez, for causing damage to her rental unit. Mr. and Mrs. Norin. No, this you? is Trevor Lee. Oh, well then sit stand, down. You're supposed to speak. That's why you're supposed to stand, no? She said what? stand. Shh. You're Miss Norin. Right. Great. You rented a unit to Mr. Argulez in a building that you own? Yes, I own. And when did you rent it to him? I rented it to him on September 17th. Of last year? Uh, they signed, let me see, hold on, sweetheart. Questions get harder. We're not supposed to do our research now. No, 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 I Just got it. Just tell me what date you rented the unit to him. October 1. Of what year? Uh, October 1, 14. And when did he move out? He moved out February 9th, Fe February 9th 2017. Oh. So he moved out over a year ago? Yes. You're suing him for damage to the unit? Right. What took you a year? Mark was hard to find. Well, tell me what efforts you made to find him during the course of the year. Over the course of the year, I've asked people around town where he is. He's working in L.A., he's working at different places. I finally recently got his phone number about six weeks ago. His current phone number, I have about six of them on my phone that don't work. And it took me, okay, let me finish. Okay, so I had to refurbish this unit, rebuild the unit. Listen to me very carefully. Okay. If I find that I can put my hands on him between February of 17 and February of 18, your case is going to be dismissed. Do you understand? Perfect. Now, Mr. Argales? Yes. You moved out of the unit on February 9th, 2017. The unit is located where? The unit is located in her uh, backyard on Buckman Springs in Campo. Where did you move to when you left her unit? I moved to about two and a half miles away at a friend's property. Um, Were you working? But I did take on a job as I was moving out in Oregon. It was only 10 to 15 days. But then you moved back to the community? I moved back, yes. Now, when you were living there from 2014 to 2017, did Miss Norin have a cell phone for you? Yes. And what was that cell phone number? 357. Now, when you moved out of the unit, did you change your phone number? No, I did not. In what year did you change your phone number? Probably about at the end of, end of 2017. But she could have still got a hold of me either which way. Just a second. When you say the end of 2017, is that November, December 2017? Um, probably around October, November, yeah. Why did you change your phone number? Um, I was in between work and I just couldn't afford the bill. Okay. So from the time you moved out in February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and September, you had the same phone number? Yeah, and I stayed in contact with her as I was up in Oregon. Why? Because there was an agreement when I got back that I was going to help her clean up the place and fix damages. The unit that you were staying in? Yes. Okay. So there were damages in the unit where you were staying? There was minimal damages, yes. So you stayed in touch with her? Yes, I tried. And you stayed in touch with her because you felt responsible for fixing some of the damage that had been done in the unit? Exactly. I mean, I had did still had belongings there. Did you ever fix any of the damage that was done in the unit?